How's it going people? Eddie Howe has been appointed the new manager of Newcastle United. It's been talked about for quite a little bit, but today it's confirmed that Eddie Howe is, is the new manager of Tyneside up at Toome. Is this a good appointment for Newcastle United? The, the question that I ask is, could they have gotten better? And in my opinion, no. Who are you going to get that's better than Eddie Howe for Newcastle United at the moment that's going to be there, that's going to do this relegation battle, that's going to push all the way to keep Newcastle in the league? Because that's their priority at the moment. Having all this, this Saudi money means absolutely sweet nothing if you're not in the Premier League to do anything about it. I know that with the finances that they have and with the backing that they have and with Eddie Howe at the helm, that if they go down, they'd probably bounce straight back up. But it's not ideal for them to go down. They wouldn't want to go down at the moment they sit in 19th in the Premier League so that's not ideal for them at all and they just about sit in 19th as well they're scraping it really because Norwich are on the same amount of points as them and when you look at how bad Norwich have been this season it really puts into perspective how bad the Newcastle have been now I've seen people slate Eddie Howe I've seen people praise the appointment of Eddie Howe and in my opinion this is only good news for Newcastle United they needed to get someone in there now because all this talk and fantasizing about Antonio Conte managing at Newcastle United about possibly Jose Mourinho and I think that might be the case further down the line but not right now there was talks of Unai Emery as well managing Newcastle United let's get real here all of those managers managing European teams teams who are competing in Europe and right now Newcastle isn't that it will be I'm sure about that and that's just my opinion but I do think the Newcastle are going to be a European powerhouse right now they aren't though they're in a relegation battle they have to put things into perspective and get real Eddie Howe he's a man who kept Bournemouth in the Premier League for five straight seasons obviously they went down eventually under the tutelage of Eddie Howe he's taken a break in management since then. This is the first job he's taken since coming back into management. And when you have a look at his record at Bournemouth, 355 games, 144 wins, 136 losses, 75 draws, 1.43 points per game. He has experience in a relegation battle. He has experience in trying to keep teams up. And I think that him and Bournemouth were unfortunate. If I remember correctly, and I might be wrong, but I'm keeping it in anyway. If I remember correctly, weren't Bournemouth screwed by that, that decision that, that took him out to the Premier League? There was some Sheffield United involvement. I know that much. VAR fraudulence. That, that pushed them out of the Premier League. But the overall point and what it boils down to for me is what I said right at the start. What choice do they have? They need to get someone in there now. They need to get someone in there now who has relegation survival experience in the Premier League and Premier League experience. You don't want someone coming over trying to adapt to a new league, trying to adapt to the Premier League, which is the most competitive league in the world, in my opinion. You want someone proven, knows what they're doing. And not just that, he has a, a rapport. He has a relationship with Ryan Fraser, with Callum Wilson, with Matt Ritchie. They were all at Bournemouth under Eddie Howe, so he has a relationship with those as well. I think he's going to want to have a hunger for management again. He's taken that break. He's taken that little sabbatical away from managing. He likes to play a 4-4-2 formation, so nothing too fancy or difficult. You know, just the, the bog standard 4-4-2, the tried and trusted in the Premier League. We might see it come back and make a return. But as I was saying, I think that he's going to have a hunger to want to manage again, a hunger to want to succeed, a hunger to want to prove himself. But it all boils down to one question. Do I think Eddie Howe is good enough to keep Newcastle United in the Premier League? I do. Do I I think he deserves a chance in Newcastle. I do. And ultimately, if you're a Newcastle fan, you got no other choice. He is your manager now. But I do think that people should cut in some slack. I do think that he's going to perform and I wish him all the best for Newcastle. And uh, yeah, let's see where it goes. Eddie Howe is the new Newcastle United manager.